Luna Bees. It is another episode. Well, I've got stuff flying around. It's another episode of Vlogist on the Cheap, where Sandy Duda of Left is Right Crochet and I are giving gifts to each other all month long, and there's only a few days left. Wow, it went quick. <sighs> Today is a rainy day which is good because we've been having lots of forest fires up in the Okanagan. So hopefully it's raining up there. Hey, Candy, is it raining up there? <laughs> I'm hoping so, man, because man, Candy from Blue Eyed Style has been keeping updates on on the forest fires up in the Okanagan. And ugh, it's just a nightmare every year. It scares me. It absolutely scares me. We actually had a couple of fires here one at the airport and one on um, Mount Benson, which were pretty significant. And uh, it's um, not a good thing. Not a good, I love summer, but the forest fire situation, not a good thing. Having my Timmy's, yay. Ah, oh, yum. Okay, so I have only a few gifts left so I was able to put them actually on my table instead of bending down to pick them up out of the box so I'm just gonna mm, this one this oh nope that's George's can't do that <laughs> I gotta get him to do maybe I'll do that later no tomorrow maybe maybe I'll do that tomorrow I'll get him to do that okay mm, this one how about this one? Oh, this one's kind of hip. Did you send me batteries? <laughs> this one's kind of heavy. It feels like batteries. <laughs> okay, let's open it up. Crinkling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> I got so excited. I just... <laughs> choked on my own spit oh my <laughs> <clears throat> I got melties melties melter mel you know the melting what do you call them scented wax the melt for the melting god do I have a melting pot anymore I'm not sure I'm gonna have to look and if not I'm gonna have to go get one this is good. Oh, it's called Coastal Sunset. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that smells nice. Now, I'm not sure about this with pets in an enclosed space, um, how that's going to go. So, Luckily, it's summertime and I can keep all the windows open. I do burn incense, um, a certain nunchampa incense that I do. And it seems to be okay, but they have been, they've been smelling that for a long time. And I know that with, with pets, they need to be able to go somewhere else if there's a scent in the room. Uh, and so you leave the windows open and they have you know, they can roam the house where the scent isn't there if it's bothering them. Uh, so you have to be very careful with scented stuff with animals. So, <clears throat> excuse me, but this would go very well in the bathroom <laughs> because, well, you know. <laughs> so I am going to go and look for a melting pot. I know you can get those at the dollar store. And, uh, and put this in the bathroom. Yes, definitely. So thank you so much. Um, I, I think it's Sensi. Sensi, I think, is pet friendly. I'm not totally sure. Uh, I know that there is stuff out there that is pet friendly. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, for the amount of time that you're going to have this on if it's in the bathroom it's you know keep the door closed keep the bathroom smelling nice it's going to be fine so thank you so much oh you guys 
it has been a week. It's been like, well, a few days, been like three days of absolute hell here in BC. I don't know if you guys are keeping up to date on what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, this whole mandatory vaccine thing is turning our province upside down. They're going to court now. <clears throat> um, yeah, the big decision I had had to make was around that and you guys have probably noticed in the last couple of days that I haven't quite been myself um <clears throat> yeah I had to make some big decisions and uh now I just have to wait it out and see what happens because if I don't get the vaccine then um I'm not going to be able to do craft fairs I'm not going to be able to I I may not even be able to work um, because people are losing their jobs all over the, all over the place because of not being vaccinated. <clears throat> um, I have my own views on them that I'm going to keep to myself, uh, because this is not a channel that I want any kind of political debate on. Um, so, but, you know, I, I've got some tough times ahead of me. So I've, t I've decided, George and I have both decided that um, we're going to opt out of doing craft fairs this year <clears throat> because we don't believe, we think it's going to end up being like last year where nobody wanted to touch anything. Nobody wanted to come into our booth. Nobody, you know, it was, I mean, masks are mandatory again. So um, it's just going to be a colossal mess. And, you know, and if we're not vaccinated, who knows, maybe we won't even be able to be in a craft fair. So um, that is going to cut down on my income significantly. Uh, and I don't know how to, like, what to do about it. I don't know. You now the whole selling online and everything is also a cluster, you know, I mean... <clears throat> How do you get people to see your stuff? How do you get people to know where you are? Um, and shipping is extortionate as, as it is. It's just, it's crazy. Shipping is stupid in Canada. So um, I, I just don't even know what to do. I've got a ton of stuff. I've been squirreling and um, making all this stuff to get ready for this year's craft fairs. Because I figured, you know, everybody's going to be wanting to go to craft fairs and it's going to be great. And so I've been making stuff and putting it away. And now I have mountains of stuff and I can't do anything with it. So, oh, I'm just, I'm a mess right now, guys. I really am. I just, I don't even know. So <clears throat> there's a, a action lawsuit going on now. Um, it's, it's just crazy absolute craziness anyways so if I seem a little off that's why uh yeah I mean people are losing their jobs man this is crazy this is crazy like ah, oh, nobody should be in charge of telling you what to do with your body like oh god anyway I'm not going to talk about this anymore <clears throat> Um, I'm going to go before I get on a rant. Okay. I love you all. Stay safe out there. Okay. Um, yeah, just stay safe. Know that you are loved. Um, and that I support any decision that anybody makes, you know, um, I just, I just hate what's happening in the world right now. It just makes me very sad. And I'm going to start to cry, so I'm going to go, okay? I love you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully you come back and come and see what we've got going on. Don't forget to go over to Sandy at Left is Right Crochet and uh, see what I got her. And yeah, just know that I love you all. Okay, bye. Bye.